Hey Corbin Saber fans, I want to present to you the new Lost Spectre. This is the Ezra Saber from the Rebels show. Uh, this is uh, designed by uh, Shadow Foil Props, SP Sabers, and Dark Star Props. Uh, this is sold through the Corbanth website. And let me describe how it works. So this bottom pommel just comes off. Now you have to push up when you twist. This um, part right here, the, the ring that goes around is designed to be loose. So this ring will sometimes turn. That's what it's intended to do. I myself put a couple drops of super glue in here and glue it together. If you don't like how it rotates, it's meant so you can rotate and put the D-ring in any direction, but some people don't like it. So when you do go to put this on, you have to push up. Otherwise, you, this just may t rotate and rotate, and it's hard to get that on, but I just glue it myself. That's just my personal preference. So this is the chassis. Let me... Uh, Put the uh, piece inside. So you have the, this is the crystal, the crystal reveal chassis. There's the Profi 3.7 or 3.9, whatever the latest version is. They change so much, it's hard to tell. This is the button that turns it on and off. And there's your uh, battery. Make sure that when you put the battery in, it goes in the correct way so the way you can tell is there's a nub right here this battery tab has a nub and this battery tab is flat of course on a battery you have a nub and you have the flat side so make sure you always put the nub to the nub so in this case it's faces backwards putting it in upside down or backwards could short out the profi it's not supposed to but it could So the way this goes in, there's grooves in the chassis, and you have to, when you go to put it in, it'll go so far it'll stop. So turn it until, so I'm pushing as I'm turning, and eventually it goes in. That's the only way this chassis can go in. If you want to test it, you can. This button here changes fonts. So to so if you want to put this on to test it, go ahead and move this like that. The you, ha, you have to push in in order to get it completely on. The way you can tell if it's right is if you can change fonts. <laughs> the four Savage. At last we move. Ahsoka Tano! I'm all the Jedi. Obi Wan Kenobi. I'm quite on Zoom. To turn it on, this does nothing. It's just for display. Just twist it with your thumb. And then if you push it and hold it, it'll turn it off. You can play music if you hold it for like a second and a half. Or it'll turn it off. Um, so you can flick it with your finger and it turns on. And to, you can also twist it off like that. So, and to turn it off, you can hold it or just twist it. Also, you have three blade retention screws up here to hold in this blade. And it does come with a, uh, a solid blade cap, solid blade cap uh, emitter. If you want to take this, you can unscrew this off. This part right here, you can unscrew it and put on the other one if you want it for display. But uh, that's pretty much it. Can't think of anything else you need to know. They sure are beautiful. I'm really happy that Shadowfoil and the group uh, put these together and made them. They're beautiful. 
Have a great day.